flag out in right field is not flapping as much as normal. Of course, right when I say it, the wind picks up. <laughs> One down, Frazee on it first. Here's Hamlin. Gendron from the stretch. Kicks and deals. Runner goes, and he's in there safe. Second stolen base of the inning for the Bulldogs. That was a strike on Hamlin. 0-1 the count. Gavin Lunt, the first baseman, waits on deck. This ball's ripped to right field, and if it stays fair, it's going to be trouble. It does, right on the line. And they're going to hold the runner, as he was kind of holding up there was uh, Frazee to see if, see if the right fielder was going to be able to make the play. The fifth hit of the inning for the Bulldogs. Runners at first and first and third for Lunt. You got to think that Hamlin's going to be going here. Gendron gets the sign, steps off. Boy, you got to think Lunt's licking his chops with that wind blowing out to right in the short porch. Maybe he can sneak one out over that fence. Runner goes. And they fake the throw, so that will not be a stolen base if you're scoring at home. It's defensive indifference. They fake me out. Huh? See? But now you got two ducks on the pawn. The ball's ripped to right. That's a base hit. And they're going to wave Hamlin, and Hamlin turns the corner. Here comes the throw. He's going to be in standing up. Two RBIs. They throw down to second. Diving in, the big fella, Gavin Lunt, as he advances on the throw. Another two RBI single, and the Bulldogs are up 5 nothing. The sixth hit of the inning. Here comes pitcher Braden Littlefield. Just one out. They've gone the other way, too, quite a bit. I think uh, four of the six hits have been to right field. There's a pop-up. Catchers tries to make the play. He can't come up with it. Chapa tried to make the play catching it with his glove up, and typically with the catcher, you want to try to catch it with your glove down because of, the, because of how thick the mitt is. Uh, the wind is blowing quite a bit out there, too, so I'm sure that was playing tricks with the ball. 0-1 the count to Littlefield. With Gavin Lunt at second base, Riley Leary, the center fielder, waits on deck. Nub down the third base line and foul. 0-2 to Littlefield. Epic View Studios has sponsorship space available for this broadcast. If you're looking to attract more customers, hire employees, or create awareness for your business, we can help. There are thousands of viewers just like you who watch sports here on Epic View Studios. Get your ad on TV. Call Brian at 207-631-8870. Here comes the 0-2. Popped up. Same spot. Chapa trying to make this play, and he can't make the play again. <laughs> and he runs into the big fella, Hamlin. He's frustrated with himself there. Thought he had a better chance at that one. Another life for Braden Littlefield. You can also email Brian at epicview at yahoo.com and get all the information. Well, we're up to over 7,000 subscribers. We're getting anywhere from 1,500 to three or 4,000 views a game. I mean, it's uh, it's taking on a life of its own, wouldn't you say, Eli? Oh, there you go. Got to get that but epic word in there. we can't do it without sponsors and viewers like you. Wow. <laughs> Listen to that radio voice. What am I doing? Why am I here? I should be over there. That ball was in the dirt. One and two to Littlefield. Gendron. Kicks and deals. Swing and a foul tip. He just got a piece of that one up around the eyeballs. Good start here for the Bulldogs in a game that 
I really thought was going to be a nail biter uh, based on last year's games and the fact that both teams have a lot of players back. But the Bulldogs have uh, jumped right out on the Panthers here, leading 5 nothing. That ball is ripped foul. That's headed to uh, Burn Street. That's headed to the Amory. <laughs> Littlefield got ahead of that one. He, if he straightened that one out, they'd be on top of the roof there at the, the house behind the snack shack. One and two the count. Gendron kicks and deals. Ball is hit to the shortstop. Charity hop for Grady. And the big fella tried to scoop it, but he couldn't. And a run's going to score. Good hustle by Lunt coming all the way around to score on the error. That's going to be an E6. No RBI on that. But it's now 6 nothing Bulldogs. And Riley Leary, the center fielder, will be the hitter. Only one out. The ball's nubbed down first base, and Hamlin going to take it himself for the out. Moving up to second is Littlefield. Going to go back to the top of the order. Cole Kieran, he led the game off with a single and scored on the uh, two RBI single by Gavin Wilson. Gendron kicks and deals. Ball up high. If you remember, Kirian jumped on the first pitch from Foster and hit a laser right up the middle for a base hit. Kind of set the tone for this first inning for the Bulldogs. Here comes the 1-0. Up high, 2-0. Cam Dosty waits on deck, the catcher. Two down, six runs in for the Bulldogs. They lead it 6-0. The ball is hit to center field. Rodriguez camps under it and makes the play. But the Bulldogs pick up six runs on six hits, and they leave a runner on at the end of one. 6-0 Bulldogs. Back after this. Recover 180 has organic hydration for today's athlete. Recover 180 Sports Drink improves performance and recovery before, during, and after training. Low calorie, rapid rehydration, and it's certified USDA organic. That's what sets Recover 180 apart from the crowded sports drink category. Learn more at drinkrecover.com. Recover 180, proudly distributed by Valley Beverage. For more than 50 years, Kennebec Valley Community College has trained the people of Maine to enter high-demand, well-paying jobs. KVCC's cutting-edge technology and state-of-the-art facilities ensure that our graduates are some of the most sought after in Maine. With our already low tuition and the free community college program for recent graduates, KVCC students join the workforce with little to no student loan debt. For more information, please visit us online at kvcc.me.edu or call 453-5822. Welcome back to Kai's Field. Rick Dougal, Eli Poulin. Big first inning for the Bulldogs. They lead it 6-0. It is early, though. Waterville still, you know, start chipping away here. But first inning, they didn't get much done. They had uh, the leadoff man walked, and then Braden Littlefield struck out the side. But they'll send up uh, Felix Chapa, Derek Kucher, and Jacoby Sirois um, to face Littlefield. Luis Rodriguez was the one that entered the game, by the way, for Ben Foster. We hope everything's all right with Ben. Um, <clears throat> typically, he's, he's such a good hitter, he'd stay in the game. So it tells you that something's wrong if he's not at least staying in the game to hit. So uh, Rodriguez will hit in his spot in the two spot. The professionals at Family First Funeral Homes, which include Veyu in Reddington in Waterville and Smart and Edwards in Skowhegan, will help your family celebrate the lives of loved ones with dignity, respect, and compassion. To learn more, visit them online at veyufuneralhome.com. Here's Chapa to face Littlefield. 
Little field kicks and deals. Ooh, just missed that one down and away. Braden started out a little a little wild in the first inning, but then really got into a groove and struck out the side. Down and away, 2-0. and Wind blowing out a little bit to right. Up and in, 3-0. and Littlefield gets a sign, kicks and deals. There's a strike, three and one. Chapa taking all the way. Littlefield, three one, strike right at the knees. Littlefield not messing around with any breaking stuff here. He's just coming with the cheese. Just trying to spot it well. So far, Waterville not able to catch up. Here comes the 3-2. There's a ball ripped to left field, but right at the left fielder. Santone. And one out. Derek Kucher will be the hitter. Kucha had a nice game the other day. Had a single and a couple of walks. Scored three one, three runs. The ball outside. As I said earlier, Waterville opened the season with an 18-4 win over Winslow. A game we had on the Waterville Athletics site. Inside 2-0. Lawrence opened up with a 7-3 win uh, earlier this week against Belfast. <coughs> Two and zero the count. As Littlefield gets the sign, kicks and delivers. Here's a strike. So far, the uh, defenders haven't had a lot to do. The first ball put in play was uh, from the last batter. Here it comes down and in three and one. Jacoby Seroyce, the third baseman, waits on deck for Waterville. Comes the 3 1. Strike on the outside corner. Kucha thought he had got a walk there, but he's going to have to dig in for the 3 2 pitch. Here it comes. Just missed outside. Second walk of the game for Littlefield. That's going to bring up Seroyce. He had a couple of RBIs uh, and a hit the other day. Scored a couple of runs. Let's see if Coach Beckwith tries to get something going. I think trailing 6 nothing, Probably... We'll be a little conservative here. One out, runner on at first. Ball one to Seroyce. Pretty good lead by Kucha. That's a ball up high, 2-0. and Littlefield toes the slab, takes a look at the runner, kicks and deals, swing and a miss. Got that one inside his kitchen a little bit. Dixon's Country Market, no matter what you're craving, Dixon's has your fixings. On the Neck Road in Benton, check out our Facebook page for our daily specials and order ahead. Call 453-9547. Strike two on the outside corner. <coughs> I love that Facebook page. <laughs> Dixons, got your fixings. My man likes his work. <laughs> what can I say? 
Here comes the 2-2. Ooh, he just got a piece of that one. And Dosti couldn't hang on. So Ciroy stays alive with a 2-2 count. Littlefield gets the sign, checks the runner, comes to the belt, kicks and deals. Up and in, three and two the count. The sun wants to come out, but it just can't get beyond those clouds. The wind blowing still a little bit out to right field. Comes the three, two. Swing and a miss, he got him. The fourth strikeout for Littlefield, and three of the four have been the swinging version, so he's throwing the pill by people today. Two down. That's going to bring up Harrison, the right fielder. Swing and a miss. Ball up around his eyeballs. Littlefield really not paying much attention to the runner. There's a ball up a little high. Redamozo waits on deck for the Panthers. Here comes the 1-1. Hit him. Waterville knows what that's like. They had four of those in the Winslow game the other day. <laughs> and Dosty going to come out and have a little chat with uh, Mr. Littlefield. Boy, Cam Dosty been in the weight room. The big fella. He's, uh, of course, he was uh, dominating in uh, football this year, but uh, he's taken up a lot of space behind that plate, that's for sure. Big man. One, uh, two outs here in the second. Strike outside corner. That's where Littlefield's been very successful in the game so far, getting that outside corner pitch over the plate. First and second, two outs here. Waterville really would like a two-out hit to try to get back in this one. In the dirt, good stop by Dosty. One and one the count. Kucher on at second with a walk, moved up on the hit by pitch. Harrison, who had two strikes on him when he got hit, swing and a miss. The Waterville hit is really helping Littlefield out with the swinging at pitches out of the zone. One and two the count to Redamozo with two outs. Here it comes. Ball is lifted to. Right center, left center field, and coming in, making the play is the center fielder. Uh, where is he? Oh, Riley Leary. There he is. So, two runners left on base, no hits, and at the end of one and a half, six nothing Bulldogs. Back after this. Correct. North Country Car Wash and Laundromat is conveniently located at 10 Skowhegan Road in Fairfield. Our touchless automatic car wash is now available. We use the latest technology to provide a thorough and efficient cleaning of your vehicle. Discount package is now available. Come visit us today and give your car the love it deserves. We're open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you own a local main business, this message is for you. Scan the QR code now for your chance to win $1,000 in free advertising from Epic View Studios, the leader in local live streaming. Just scan the code with your camera app on your smartphone and fill in the information. Good luck and thanks for watching from Epic View Studios. Welcome back to Kai's Field. 6 nothing as we go to the bottom of the second. Bulldogs in the lead. I want to tell you about Ignite Bars. They are a keto-friendly protein bar, perfect for the athlete for athletes on the go. Whether it's before practice or on your way 
to class. Grab and Ignite Bar. The bars are used by high school and college athletes, including Maddie Niles and Alyssa Bork. Right now, you can use the promo code AB 10 to save 10% on your order. Don't get hungry. Get ignited. Visit IgniteBars.com. Gendron throws to Dosti, who lifts one to left field uh, for the first out of the inning. Dosti had a single and scored a run back in the first inning. One pitch, one out for Gendron. That brings up Gavin Wilson. He had a two RBI single back in the first, also scored a run. Got Wilson, Maddox Santone, and if anybody gets on, Jacob Frazee. Ooh, where, where, where was that? <laughs> that looked really good. From here, which I don't have a good angle, so. 1 0 the count. That ball is laced to the, towards the gap, but the left field, they're going to come in and make the play for Waterville. Derek Kucher. Another line out to the left fielder, and that's two down. Here comes Santone. He flew out to the right fielder his first time up. That ball's ripped to right. That's foul. Gendron's come out throwing strikes, which is, uh, you know, when you're trailing, you really don't want to give Lawrence any opportunities, free opportunities with uh, walks. So. Got to get up there and throw strikes. Get ahead of the batters. Get ahead of the, the batters so you can throw your pitch. Owen won the count to Santone. Gendron kicks and deals. Ball stay, Curveball stays up. One and one. comes the 1-1. One, one. Nub to shortstop. Grady up with it. Throws a cross and a big stretch by the big fella. Gets it. So three up, three down. A good good inning for Gendron. Uh, no runs, no hits, no one left on base. We go to the top of the third. 6 nothing. Lawrence back after this. Any commercial use, rebroadcast, retransmission, or distribution of the following presentation without the express written consent of Epic View Studios is strictly prohibited. Looking for a new job or seasonal work? Hudamaki in Waterville is now hiring starting at $21.87 per hour. Join Hudamaki, a company that prides itself in food safety and convenience. Start your career with our newly enhanced benefits package. Hudamaki is a company that cares about its people and sustainability. Hudamaki Incorporated are the makers of Chinet. Bring your family to ours and join the Hudamaki team. For more information, visit hudamaki.com or scan the QR code below. Dow's Quick Stop, 74 Western Avenue in Fairfield. Your one-stop shop for gas, food, beverages, and lottery tickets. Scan the QR code now for your chance to win a $20 gift card at Dow's. Hammond Lumber Company has been a trusted partner of professional contractors, do-it-yourselfers, and homeowners for generations. It's the level of trust that Hammond Lumber has earned by providing an extensive selection of products and materials from industry-leading suppliers with guidance and support through every stage of any project including delivery of materials throughout Maine and New Hampshire. Hammond Lumber Company is, has been, and will always be your building project partner. Naturopath. Welcome back to Kai's Field, top of the third. Back to the top of the order for Waterville. They'll have Grady uh, Rodriguez, who came in for Ben Foster and uh, Garrett Gendro. Grady walked, stole a base back in the first and was stranded there at second base. There's a strike on the outside corner, one and one. So far, 
Littlefield has yet to give up a hit. He's had a couple of walks, three strikeouts, four strikeouts. That ball is nubbed to the foul to the right, not a play. One and two, the count. Top of the third, six nothing, Bulldogs. Littlefield kicks and deals. Curveball. Stayed inside. Two and two, the count. Ball up high, three and two, the count. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. He got him. Fifth strikeout of the game for Braden Littlefield. Four of them have been swinging. Here is George Taylor, who is going to, I don't know if he's moved into center field, but he's hitting in the spot that was Ben Foster. Foster struck out his first time up. Garrett Gendron, now the pitcher for Waterville, waits on deck. Littlefield, swing and a miss by George. Littlefield gets a sign, kicks and deals. Ball's fouled to the left and out of play. North Country Car Wash and Laundromat is a newly updated car wash and laundromat located in Fairfield. We have four self-serve car wash bays and one touchless in-bay automatic bay. A laundry facility has 17 washers and 14 dryers and is open 24-7. Here comes the one-two. Got him looking! Sixth strikeout of the game for Littlefield. He's one batter away from striking out the side for the second time in three innings. Kennebec Valley Community College in Fairfield is offering more than 20 degree and certificate opportunities to something for everyone at KVCC. Take the first step towards your future by exploring our available programs and course offerings. Call 453-5822. Gendron struck out his first time up. This ball's nub foul. Don't forget to stick with us at the conclusion of the game. We'll have our post-game awards. One of them, our precision play of the game, brought to you by Chase Toys on the Thorndike Road in Unity, and then also our post-game show, which is brought to you by Hammond Lumber Company. There's a ball. Oh, no, that's a strike. 0-2 the count. And our player of the game, which is also brought to you by Hammond Lumber Company with 22 locations across Maine and New Hampshire and online at HammondLumber.com. Here comes the 1-2. Breaking ball just goes low, and it's 2-2 two two the count. Two down here in the third. 6 nothing. Bulldogs, top of the third. Got all six of their runs in the first inning. Just inside, 3-2. If you're just joining us, Ben Foster was the starting pitcher for Waterville, and he got was hurt. And I don't know if he was hurt coming into the game, and he tried to go in the dirt. I guess that's three and two. I thought it was a three and two count before, but they took him out after just two batters, three batters, and uh, he came out of the game. He didn't even stay in and uh, to hit. Got him looking. Littlefield strikes out the side again. No runs, no hits, no one left on base. The end of two and a half. Six nothing Bulldogs back after this. Medicine is a well-established system of medicine that works to achieve optimal health by striving to identify underlying causes of illness to help the body heal itself. 
A whole body approach is taken to diagnose, prevent and treat both acute and chronic conditions. A naturopathic doctor is a licensed specialist who works with patients to remove obstacles to their health, stimulate self-healing, strengthen weakened systems, use natural substances to restore and prescribe pharmaceuticals as needed. Modalities used as treatment include therapeutic nutrition, stress management and education, vitamin and mineral supplementation, botanical medicine, and other dietary supplements. Each plan is individual as the doctor and patient work together to create their treatment plans. Conditions commonly treated include allergies, digestive issues, fatigue, chronic pain, sleep complaints, thyroid conditions, and hypertension. Contact Dr. Anna Froman in Benton and now in Brunswick, Maine to make your next appointment, 207-544-6786. Welcome back to Kai's Field here in Fairfield. Rick Dougal, Eli Poulin, 6 nothing Bulldogs. As we go to the bottom of the third, the Bulldogs will have Jacob Frazee, Mike Hamlin, and Gavin Lunt to face uh, Garrett Gendron, who uh, came in relief of, um, of uh, Benny Foster. Strike on the outside corner. Frazee had an RBI single, stole a base, and scored a run back in the first inning. Here comes the 0-1. Just a bit inside. Here comes the 1-1. Ball is lifted to the right side. Hamlin trying to track it, and it's going to drop foul, thankfully. <laughs> Xavier Hamlin got his feet tangled up and went down in a heap. So it's going to be a one and two count. Northeast Truck and Refrigeration is a family-owned and operated business founded in 2002. They have a wide range of services that include heavy truck and trailer repair, chassis repair, refrigeration and mobile AC and truck and trailer maintenance, plus trailer sales. Here comes the 2-2. Two -two. Ball is ripped down the line. That's going to be a fair ball. Frazee takes a turn, and he's going to hold right there. Line drive base hit, second one of the game for Jacob Frazee. Northeast Truck and Refrigeration has truck and trailer maintenance plus trailer sales located at 1020. Albion Road and Unity are called them at 948-5700. Here comes Mike Hamlin. He also had a base hit and scored a run back in the first inning. We're in the bottom of the third. Up and in, 1-0. and 6 nothing Bulldogs. They started the game with three straight hits. Actually, six of the top of the first seven batters all had base hits. And... Uh, Two RBIs for Wilson, an RBI for Frazee, two RBIs for Lunt um, to give them that 6 nothing lead. Here comes the 2-0 to Hamlin. Popped up in the infield. Wyatt Grady calls everyone off and t makes the play. One down for Lunt. As I said, he had a two-RBI single in the first inning and uh, scored a run as well. One out here in the third. Frazee with a leadoff single on at first. Long pause for Gendron. Really taking his time out there with the runner on, taking a good look over. Frazee does have good speed. Braden Littlefield, the pitcher, waits on deck. Ball is hit down the line. Goes right between the wickets for Hamlin. And going all the way to third, running all the way is Frazee. That's going to be an E3. That's going to bring up Littlefield. 
Actually, the second error of the game for the Panthers. Littlefield reached on an error by the shortstop in the first inning. Was stranded at second base. First and third, one out. Gendron. Inside, they're going to not really throw down. I'm not sure what that was. Kind of a half a throw by Chapa. But it will be a stolen base for Lunt. The uh, second stolen base of the game for the Bulldogs. Second and third now. Two ducks on the pond. Make them go quack, quack, quack. Or as my daughter Bailey would say, two ducks, one pond. She likes to come watch our softball games, and uh, she's not very uh, educated in the phrasing of baseball, softball. That ball's ripped down the line. I'll tell you right now, Braden Littlefield's not getting cheated. Uh, if he gets his, if he slows his hands down through the zone a little bit, uh, he's out in front of the, some of these pitches, and he's hitting laser beams, but they're about four feet foul. Here comes the one two in the dirt. Good stop by Chapa. Two and two the count. The thing about hitting is a lot of it is timing and it takes takes time throughout the season to you gotta get some at bats and get some swings to get that timing down. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. But it got by him. And coming in to score is Frazee on the pass ball. And it's going to be a two and two count. Ball was up and away, but was definitely a play that Chapa should have made. Seven nothing now, Bulldogs with one out here in the third. Full count to Littlefield. That ball is laced to left field. That's going to get over the head, and that's going to double hop the fence. Littlefield gets into one, and he's going to cruise into second with a stand-up double. I said if Braden Littlefield was able to get his timing down a little bit better, he's been hitting the ball a ton his first two at-bats. He did that time, and he laced it over the head of uh, – I think that's um, George over there and uh, George Taylor over there in left field. That's going to bring up Riley Leary. He popped up to the first baseman his first time up. Eight nothing Bulldogs. Ball is hit to left field, and Taylor almost misjudged it, but does make the play for the second out of the inning. That's going to bring up uh, Kirian, who singled and scored in the first and flew out to center uh, also in the first. Lawrence batted around in that first inning. Littlefield on at second, leading 8 nothing. Gendron kicks and deals. Line drive, base hit. It gets by. Littlefield being waved on, and he's going to score easily to make it 9 nothing. Oh, it's 9 nothing, my mother. As my boy Mutsi used to say, nine nothing, my mother. Kirian has uh, hit a couple of shots today as well. That's his second hit of the game. He is Cam Dosty. Dosty had a single, scored a run in the first, and flew out to left in the second. Two down here in the third. Three more runs in for the Bulldogs to make it 9 nothing. Breaking ball stays up high. And it looks like a balk has been called on Gendron. That's going to move the runner up, Kirian. Gavin Wilson. The right field awaits on deck for the Bulldogs. Gendron 
Kicks and deals. Balls hit the short. Going to get by the shortstop for a base hit. They're going to wheel Kieran around, and he's going to score. Standing up, another RBI single makes it 10 nothing Bulldogs. All this has happened with two outs. It's going to bring up Wilson, who had two RBI, a two RBI single in the first, scored a run, stole a base, and then flew out to left in the second. Ball down low. Gendron kicks and deals. There's a strike outside corner. This one gets up and in. Two and one to Wilson. Fouled at the plate, two and two. Six in the first, four here in the third. The Bulldogs jumped all over Waterball in this one, leading 10 nothing. Gendron. The ball is hit to left. Actually, popped up to third. Sirois camps under it and he drops it. Oh. Those are killers. Kind of nonchalanted it a little bit there, really. You know, instead of using the two hands and making the play. So, Wilson has new life with Santone on deck. Gendron looks at the runner. Comes to the belt. Kicks and deals. Breaking ball. He got him swinging. But the Bulldogs get one, two, three, four hits, score six runs. They leave a runner on base at the end of three. Ten nothing Bulldogs back after this. Recover 180 has organic hydration for today's athlete. Recover 180 sports drink improves performance and recovery before, during, and after training. Low calorie, rapid rehydration, and it's certified USDA organic. That's what sets Recover 180 apart from the crowded sports drink category. Learn more at drinkrecover.com. Recover 180, proudly distributed by Valley Beverage. Hammond Lumber Company is looking for great people to join their team. To find your place on the Hammond team, click on the careers link at hammondlumber.com. Hannaford, your hometown grocery store, is hiring for all positions. Competitive pay, opportunity to advance, and much more. Apply online at Hannaford.com and look for the job openings link. Aquarius Pools and Spa, 224 Augusta Road in Winslow. You deserve this. Northeast Truck and Refrigeration is a family-owned and operated business that was founded in 2002. We have a wide range of services, including heavy truck and trailer repair, chassis repair, refrigeration, and mobile AC, truck and trailer maintenance, and trailer sales. Located at 1020 Albion Road in Unity. No matter what you're craving, Dixon's has your fixins on the Neck Road in Benton. Check out our Facebook page for our daily specials. Sure, there's more than one way to get the job done. But sometimes, there's really no comparison. With all the power and versatility you'll ever need, you'll get more done in a day with Polaris. Chase Toys, Inc. on the Thorndike Road in Unity. Your one-stop shop for Skidoo snowmobiles, Climb Outerwear, Polaris ATVs, and Husqvarna lawn and garden equipment. Visit them online at chasetoysinc.com. Follow Chase Toys, Inc. on Facebook and give Josh or Brian a call today at 948-5729. 
Hey guys, it's Alyssa here. Whether you're working hard in school or working hard at the gym, you need a snack. Welcome back to Kai's Field. Rick Dougal, Eli Poulin here. High above home plate in the Hudamaki Packaging Broadcast Center. 10 nothing Bulldogs, and we have a pitching change. Cam Blodgett is going to come in to pitch for Braden Littlefield. Probably uh, early season here. You don't want to... Uh, you don't want to wear out any arms, but uh, what a performance by Littlefield. Three innings pitch, seven strikeouts, no hits, and just two walks. Um, very, very strong performance. Uh, Cam Blodgett, the lefty, will kick and deal to Xavier Hamlin. Ball outside. Hamlin, Chapa, and Kucher will be the hitters for Waterville. Hamlin struck out his first time up back in the first. There's a strike outside corner. Blodge it. This one's a knuckle curve that ends up in the dirt. Two and one the count. Ball is hit to the right side. Lunt makes the play, and he'll take it unassisted. One down. Here's Chapa. He lined out to the left fielder his first time up. Bulldogs with six in the first, four in the third to have a 10 nothing lead as we go to the top of the fourth inning. One down. Felix Chapa, the hitter. Swing and a miss. That one Blodgett throws it right by him. This one's in the dirt. You know, uh, whenever I see a lefty on the mound, Eli, I like to tell my lefty story. It happened right here on this field. That's a funky one that stays outside. When I was... Playing Babe Ruth All-Stars, 15-year-old All-Stars. We were in the championship game. And here comes the 2-0 inside. And uh, I had a stellar performance at the plate. 0 for 4, four strikeouts, and left the bases loaded all four times. <laughs> I personally left 12 runners on base. <laughs> I hated hitting against lefties as Chapa takes a walk. So uh, I can feel for these guys, especially Mr. Kucher here, who's a left-handed hitter. Blodgett gets the sign, checks the runner, kicks and deals. Ball outside. Wind still blowing out a little bit to right field. One down here in the fourth. There's a strike. One and one the count. Blodgett. Ball is lifted to, sh to uh, second base. Kirian camps under it and makes the out. Two down, that's going to bring up Seroyce. He struck out his first time up against Littlefield. If you're just joining us, Littlefield, an excellent three-inning outing. Six, seven Ks, no hits, and just two walks for the senior. This one's away. 1-0. One oh. Blodgett has replaced him here in the fourth with the Bulldogs leading 10-0. Swing and a miss. Kind of a half swing by Seroyce. Waiting on deck, Dawson Harrison. Strike. Outside corner. One and two. Just four base runners for the Panthers here today. They have yet to get a hit. 
Swing and a miss. He got him ball up around his eyes. So no runs, no hits, one runner left on base at the end of three and a half. Ten nothing Bulldogs back after this. Act that works for you. I'm proud to be a brand ambassador for Ignite Bars. Their keto-friendly protein bars are great on the way to practice or before class. You can visit ignitebars.com and use discount code Alyssa B10. That's A-L-Y-S-S-A-B10 at checkout and save 10%. Don't get hungry, get ignited. I'm Greg Glenn, Athlete Brand Advisor and CEO of Pliable. Are you tired of sending out emails to coaches and never hearing back? One key is sending an athlete recruiting video with your email. Here's how you can learn how to get yours. Visit pliablemarketing.com, take a look at all the athlete recruiting video options, see a sample video, plus frequently asked questions. All you have to do is visit pliablemarketing.com. Let's beat your competition and create your athlete recruiting video today. Ready to grow your business to an epic level? Place your business ad here on this live broadcast. Contact the staff at Epic View Studios for a custom marketing plan that will directly market your business to our local community. We have a variety of budget-friendly plans that will fit your needs. Email the staff at Epic View Studios today at epicview at yahoo.com. Recover 180 has organic hydration for today's athlete. Recover 180 Sports Drink improves performance and recovery before, during, and after training. Low calorie, rapid rehydration, and it's certified USDA organic. That's what sets Recover 180 apart from the crowded sports drink category. Learn more at drinkrecover.com. Recover 180, proudly distributed by Valley Beverage. Recover 180 has organic hydration for today's athlete. Recover 180 Sports Drink improves performance and recovery before, during, and after training. Low calorie, rapid rehydration, and it's certified USDA organic. That's what sets Recover 180 apart from the crowded sports drink category. Learn more at drinkrecover.com. Recover 180, proudly distributed by Valley Beverage. Recover. Welcome back to Kai's Field. Rick Dougal, Eli Poulin, 10 nothing Bulldogs as we go to the fourth. Maddox Santone will lead it off, and then it looks like we've got some pinch hitters coming up. Dawson Moore is on deck. Looks like he's going to hit for Frazee. Strike outside corner. Santone is 0 for 2. He flew out to right and grounded out to short. Ball up high. Gendron has uh, pitched pretty well since he came, since he came in. He inherited uh, runners at second and third uh, when um, Benny uh, Foster went out with the injury. The ball up high, three and one. <clears throat> Six in the first, four in the third, giving the Bulldogs a 10 nothing lead. Of course, with the 10-run rule, if ball up high, Santone walks. If Lawrence, even if they don't score here and they hold Waterville in the next half inning, that will be the ball game. Dawson Moore going to pinch hit for Frazee. Frazee had a nice game. He was 2-for-2 two two with uh, an RBI, a stolen base, and two runs scored. Strike in the outside corner. Nobody out. Santone on it first. Ball is hit to third. It's going to get by the third baseman. Grady over there, but it's not going to be in time. I'll give that an infield hit for more.
And that's going to bring up Mike Hamlin. Hamlin a single, singled and scored a run in the first and then popped up to the shortstop in the third. First and second, nobody out. Inside. Ball one. Up high, 2-0. and oh. <clears throat> Looks like Ceroyce has moved back behind the plate and Chapa back over to third. Waiting on deck is Jack Pelletier. There's a strike. Pelletier is going to hit for Lunt. One and two and one the count to Hamlin. The ball is lined to left field and it's going to get down. It gets by the outfielder coming around to score is Santone and stopping at second is uh, Moore, who came in for Frazee. And it's 11 nothing Bulldogs. That's an RBI single for Hamlin. That's going to bring up Pelletier. Jack Pelletier is going to hit for Lunt. There's a strike. Lunt was uh, one for two, had a single two, with two RBIs in the first, scored a run, and reached on an error, stole a base, and scored a run in the third. That ball's nub foul way out in front. That breaking ball was Pelletier. Cam Blodgett waits on deck. Blodgett came in to pitch for Braden Littlefield in the uh, back in the third. Uh, top of the setting, I should say. Another foul is uh, Pelletier well out in front of that one as well. Lawrence Coach getting uh, getting all almost all of his players in the game there. A couple of players yet to play. Way inside. Yeah, it looks like it must have hit Pelletier's bat because he called foul ball. One and two the count to Pelletier. First and second. Nobody out. Fouled. Off to the right and out of play. Lawrence leading it 11 nothing. A game that really we thought coming in was going to be a very good one uh, after Waterville beat Lawrence twice last year, especially with Ben Foster on the mound, um, who really shut down the Bulldogs last year. Uh, both teams only lost a few starters. Here it comes. Ground ball up the middle. Tagging, throwing, double play. Nice job there by Wyatt Grady as he uh, collected that that grounder tagged the bag and threw a seed over to first base for the 6-3 double play. Moving up to third is Moore. And that's going to bring up Cam Blodgett. In the dirt. And luckily for Seroyce, the ball hit Cam Blodgett. Owen to the count as he hits the outside corner with that one. Two down. And Frazee, um, it's not Frazee, Moore on at third. This one's in the dirt. Ceroys makes the stop. Inside corner, one and two. The count now to Blodgett. Ball is ripped to right, but right at the right fielder who makes the play, Dawson Harrison. So, two hits, one run, one runner left on base at the end of four. 
11 nothing Bulldogs back after this. Life by the bars and see how far you can go. Introducing Polaris Sportsman with Ride Command. Smart tech that displays your location and keeps track of friends even without cell service so you can explore more of the great outdoors. Polaris, think outside. Chase Toys, Inc. on the Thorndike Road in Unity. Your one-stop shop for Skidoo snowmobiles, Climb Outerwear, Polaris ATVs, and Husqvarna lawn and garden equipment. Visit them online at chasetoysinc.com. Follow Chase Toys, Inc. on Facebook and give Josh or Brian a call today at 948-5729. CrossFit 137 is where everyday people can do constantly varied functional movements at high intensity. The workout is set to the person's current fitness level, which includes no fitness experience at all. Our philosophy is progress, not perfection. Our community is all-inclusive, always supportive, and we have lots of fun. Stop by CrossFit 137 at 295 Kennedy Memorial Drive in Waterville or call 680-6785. Today's game is sponsored by NEL Analytical, located at 227 China Road in Winslow, Maine's largest laboratory services provider. NEL Analytical offers complete laboratory services including water, environmental testing and analysis in chemistry and microbiology, as well as custom and standard media manufacturing services. Call NEL Analytical today for all of your testing needs at 873-7711. Welcome back to Kai's Field. Rick Dougal, Eli Poole, and as we go to the top of the fifth, 11 nothing Bulldogs. Cam Blodgett for his second inning of work. Those strike one to Dawson Harrison. He was hit by a pitch and reached and state was stranded right there at first base in the first uh, in the second inning. In the dirt one and one. The Bulldogs with six in the first, four in the third, and one in the fourth. Lead it eleven nothing. Swing and a miss. Strike two. And Panthers need at least two runs in this inning to keep this game going as the 10-run rule after five is in effect. This one's in the dirt, two and two. Dirigo Veterinary Care, intimate, caring, and the most advanced equipment available in veterinary care are what you will experience at Dirigo Veterinary Care. Dr. Matt Townsend and the team strive to build lasting relationships with you and your pet. Here comes the 2-2. Two -two. And it's nubbed down the third baseline. It's going to go foul. Dirigo Veterinary Care, 14 Commons Drive in Waterville, next door to Starbucks or online at dirigovet.com. The professionals at Family First Funeral Homes, which include the Lori Brothers in Fairfield and Wheeler's Funeral Home in Oakland, will help your family celebrate the lives of loved ones with dignity, respect, and compassion. To learn more, visit them online at loribrothers.com. Here comes the 2-2. Two -two. Down low and in the dirt. Three and two. Hannaford is hiring for all positions and offers flexible schedules for those leading an active life. Applying is easy. Just go to Hannaford.com and apply today. Here comes the 3-2 and ball four. Harrison will get on with a leadoff walk. Joel Redabozo will be the hitter. Second baseman flew out to center field back in the second inning. Waterville still yet to get a hit off this Lawrence pitching staff. There's a strike. Braden Littlefield, three innings pitch, seven Ks, no hits, and two walks. And a stellar outing. Swing and a miss. Blodgett popping the mitt. 0 and 2 the count. There's a pitcher's count you want to be in. 0 and 2. Here it comes. Just got a piece of it. Did Redimozo. Wyatt Grady, the leadoff hitter, waits on deck. Blodgett peers in for the sign. 
Here comes the one, two. Swing and a miss. He got him. The ninth strikeout by Lawrence pitching here in this one, just the fifth inning. That's going to bring up Grady. He walked, stole a base, and was stranded at second in the first and then struck out swinging in the third. Very short lead by Redimozo. Swing and a miss. Blodgett throws that one right by Grady. George Taylor waits on deck for Waterville. One down here in the fifth. Ooh, that one's pretty. Just a bit low. One and one. Ball low. Two and one. Dr. Anna Froman is a naturopathic specialist located in Benton. If you're not getting the results you need with your current PCP, call Dr. Anna Froman. Now accepting new patients. This ball is lifted to the right side. And Curian, oh, what a play by Curian as he came all the way over from, from uh, deep in the hole at second base and made a diving catch to get the out. I was wondering if we were going to have a precision play of the game, and thank you, Mr. Curian. Hit to the left side, not a play. Cole Curian with a. You can see where he's standing right now. That's where he was uh, on the uh, on the last play, and he went all the way over to the line. Uh, that was a close to being a fair ball. Pelletier, who came in to replace Lunt. Mm. Uh, really didn't wasn't able to get back there to make the play. It was a good thing Kieran was there. Swing and a miss by Taylor. He struck out his uh, first time up back in the third. Two down. Runner on it first. Eleven nothing Bulldogs. And the ball that one gets away from Blodgett. That's going to be a pass ball. I'm sorry. Gets away from Cam Dosty and. Harrison will move up to second base. That's the uh, furthest any runner has advanced in this game for Waterville. Just been shut down by Lawrence pitching today. Blodgett kicks and deals. Fouled off by Taylor. Defensive swing trying to protect the plate. One and two the count. Two down here in the fifth inning. That one's up around the eyeballs, and Taylor helps out Blodgett with a fouls it straight back. Waiting on deck, Garrett Gendron. Blodgett gets the sign to the belt. Kicks and deals. Breaking ball gets down in the dirt. Nice stop by Dosty. Count moves to two and two. Two outs here in the fifth. Waterville needs a couple of runs to keep this game going. 11 nothing Bulldogs. Swing and a miss. He got him. And that is your ball game. The tenth strikeout of the game by the Panthers. And the Bulldogs are going to come away with an 11 nothing win. We'll step away and come back with the Han Hammond Lumber postgame show right after this. Hammond Lumber Company has been a trusted partner of professional contractors, do-it-yourselfers, and homeowners for generations. It's the level of trust that Hammond Lumber has earned by providing an extensive selection of products and materials from industry-leading suppliers with guidance and support through every stage of any project, including delivery of materials throughout Maine and New Hampshire. Hammond Lumber Company is, has been, and will always be your building project partner. 
For more than 50 years, Kennebec Valley Community College has trained the people of Maine to enter high-demand, well-paying jobs. KVCC's cutting-edge technology and state-of-the-art facilities ensure that our graduates are some of the most sought after in Maine. With our already low tuition and the free community college program for recent graduates, KVCC students join the workforce with little to no student loan debt. For more information, please visit us online at kvcc.me.edu or call 453-5822. Welcome back to Kai's Field. Rick Dougal, Eli Poulin in the Hudamaki Packaging Broadcast Center. The Bulldogs with a big 11-0 win here over the Panthers. A game I said throughout, you know, we thought was going to be a lot closer coming into the game. Two teams that played, uh, Waterville actually swept Lawrence last year. Uh, two big wins. Uh, ben Foster, who started the game on the mound for Waterville, pitched two gems against the Bulldogs. Uh, but I, we think there's something uh, Ben Foster is either was hurt coming in uh, or hurt himself on the mound because he came out of the game after facing just four, uh, three batters um, and uh, did not stay in the game to hit. So we hope everything's all right with Ben. Our post-game show today brought to you by Hammond Lumber Company with 22 locations across Maine and New Hampshire and online at HammondLumber.com. First, let's do our precision play of the game. And that's brought to you by Chase Toys, where they only have precision brands like Polaris ATVs, Skidoo Snowmobiles, Lynx Snowmobiles, Climb Apparel Plus Toro, Husqvarna Lawn and Garden Equipment. See what's available on the Thorndike Road in Unity or online at ChaseToysInc.com. We're going to give that to Mr. Cole Kirian who made a great play, and it happened in the fifth inning, uh, the second out of the fifth inning. He ranged all the way over from deep in the hole, second base, and made a diving catch over by the first baseline. So our precision play of the game brought to you by Chase Toys, Inc. goes to Cole Kirian. And our player of the game, which is brought to you by Hammond Lumber Company with 22 locations across Maine, New Hampshire, and online at HammondLumber.com. We're going to give that to Braden Littlefield, wow who pitched one heck of a ball game, just three innings of work, and I believe the Lawrence coaching staff is really wants to be careful with their pitching staff. They don't want to have them throw in too many innings, especially early in the, in the season. But Littlefield pitched three innings, struck out seven, did not give up a hit, and walked two. In all, Lawrence, between um, Cam Blodgett and Littlefield, pitched a no-hitter where they gave up. They had ten strikeouts and they had just uh, three walks in the game. So there were only four base runners. There was one error by the Bulldogs, four base runners for Waterville. So our player of the game is Braden Littlefield with seven Ks, no hits, and two walks in three innings of work. Uh, if you're just joining us, Lawrence jumped out to a 6 nothing lead in the first inning with six hits. Uh, then they uh, scored four in the third to make it 10 nothing, and then added one in the fourth to make it our final score of 11 nothing. Again, our post-game show brought to you by Hammond Lumber Company with 22 locations across Maine and New Hampshire and online at HammondLumber.com. Again, your final score here from Kai's Field. The Bulldogs go to 2-0 and on the season with an 11 to nothing victory for Eli Poole. And I'm Rick Dougal. Have a great day, everybody. North Country Car Wash and Laundromat is conveniently located at 10 Skowhegan Road in Fairfield. Our touchless automatic car wash is now available. We use the latest technology to provide a thorough and efficient cleaning of your vehicle. Discount package is now available. Come visit us today and give your car the love it deserves. We're open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you own a local main business, this message is for you. Scan the QR code now for your chance to win $1,000 in free advertising from Epic View Studios, the leader in local live streaming. Just scan the code with your camera app on your smartphone and fill in the information. Good luck and thanks for watching from Epic View Studios. Any commercial use, rebroadcast, retransmission, or distribution of the following presentation, without the express written consent of Epic View Studios, is strictly prohibited. 
Looking for a new job or seasonal work? Hudamaki in Waterville is now hiring, starting at $21.87 per hour. Join Hudamaki, a company that prides itself in food safety and convenience. Start your career with our newly enhanced benefits package. Hudamaki is a company that cares about its people and sustainability. Hudamaki Incorporated are the makers of Chinet. Bring your family to ours and join the Hudamaki team. For more information, visit hudamaki.com or scan the QR code below. Dow's Quick Stop, 74 Western Avenue in Fairfield. Your one-stop shop for gas, food, beverages, and lottery tickets. Scan the QR code now for your chance to win a $20 gift card at Dow's. Hammond Lumber Company has been a trusted partner of professional contractors, do-it-yourselfers, and homeowners for generations. It's the level of trust that Hammond Lumber has earned by providing an extensive selection of products and materials from industry-leading suppliers with guidance and support through every stage of any project, including delivery of materials throughout Maine and New Hampshire. Hammond Lumber Company is, has been, and will always be your building project partner. Naturopathic medicine is a well-established system of medicine that works to achieve optimal health by striving to identify underlying causes of illness to help the body heal itself. A whole body approach is taken to diagnose, prevent and treat both acute and chronic conditions. A naturopathic doctor is a licensed specialist who works with patients to remove obstacles to their health, stimulate self-healing, strengthen weakened systems, use natural substances to restore, and prescribe pharmaceuticals as needed. Modalities used as treatment include therapeutic nutrition, stress management and education, vitamin and mineral supplementation, botanical medicine, and other dietary supplements. Each plan is individual as the doctor and patient work together to create their treatment plans. Conditions commonly treated include allergies, digestive issues, fatigue, chronic pain, sleep complaints, thyroid conditions, and hypertension. Contact Dr. Anna Froman in Benton and now in Brunswick, Maine to make your next appointment, 207-544-6786. Hammond Lumber Company is looking for great people to join their team. To find your place on the Hammond team, click on the careers link at HammondLumber.com. Hannaford, your hometown grocery store, is hiring for all positions. Competitive pay, opportunity to advance, and much more. Apply online at Hannaford.com and look for the job openings link. Aquarius Pools and Spa. 224 Augusta Road in Winslow. You deserve this. Northeast Truck and Refrigeration is a family-owned and operated business that was founded in 2002. We have a wide range of services, including heavy truck and trailer repair, chassis repair, refrigeration, and mobile AC, truck and trailer maintenance and trailer sales. Located at 1020 Albion Road in Unity, No matter what you're craving, Dixon's has your fixins on the Neck Road in Benton. Check out our Facebook page for our daily specials. Sure, there's more than one way to get the job done, but sometimes there's really no comparison. With all the power and versatility you'll ever need, you'll get more done in a day with Polaris. Chase Toys, Inc. on the Thorndike Road in Unity. Your one-stop shop for Skidoo snowmobiles, Climb Outerwear, Polaris ATVs, and Husqvarna lawn and garden equipment. Visit them online at chasetoysinc.com. Follow Chase Toys, Inc. on Facebook and give Josh or Brian a call today at 948-5729. 
Hey guys, it's Alyssa here. Whether you're working hard in school or working hard at the gym, you need a snack that works for you. I'm proud to be a brand ambassador for Ignite Bars. Their keto-friendly protein bars are great on the way to practice or before class. You can visit ignitebars.com and use discount code AlyssaB10, that's A-L-Y-S-S-A-B-10 at checkout and save 10%. Don't get hungry, get ignited. I'm Greg Glenn, Athlete Brand Advisor and CEO of Pliable. Are you tired of sending out emails to coaches and never hearing back? One key is sending an athlete recruiting video with your email. Here's how you can learn how to get yours. Visit pliablemarketing.com, take a look at all the athlete recruiting video options, see a sample video, plus frequently asked questions. All you have to do is visit pliablemarketing.com. Let's beat your competition and create your athlete recruiting video today. Ready to grow your business to an epic level? Place your business ad here on this live broadcast. Contact the staff at Epic View Studios for a custom marketing plan that will directly market your business to our local community. We have a variety of budget-friendly plans that will fit your needs. Email the staff at Epic View Studios today at epicview at yahoo.com. Grab life by the bars and see how far you can go. Introducing Polaris Sportsman with Ride Command. Smart tech that displays your location and keeps track of friends even without cell service so you can explore more of the great outdoors. Polaris, think outside. Chase Toys, Inc. on the Thorndike Road in Unity. Your one-stop shop for Skidoo snowmobiles, Climb Outerwear, Polaris ATVs, and Husqvarna lawn and garden equipment. Visit them online at chasetoysinc.com. Follow Chase Toys, Inc. on Facebook and give Josh or Brian a call today at 948-5729. CrossFit 137 is where everyday people can do constantly varied functional movements at high intensity. The workout is set to the person's current fitness level, which includes no fitness experience at all. Our philosophy is progress, not perfection. Our community is all-inclusive always supportive, and we have lots of fun. Stop by CrossFit 137 at 295 Kennedy Memorial Drive in Waterville or call 680-6785. Today's game is sponsored by NEL Analytical, located at 227 China Road in Winslow, Maine's largest laboratory services provider. NEL Analytical offers complete laboratory services including water, environmental testing and analysis in chemistry and microbiology as well as custom and standard media manufacturing services. Call NEL Analytical today for all of your testing needs at 873-7711. Hammond Lumber Company has been a trusted partner of professional contractors, do-it-yourselfers, and homeowners for generations. It's the level of trust that Hammond Lumber has earned by providing an extensive selection of products and materials from industry-leading suppliers with guidance and support through every stage of any project, including delivery of materials throughout Maine and New Hampshire. Hammond Lumber Company is, has been, and will always be your building project partner. For more than 50 years, Kennebec Valley Community College has trained the people of Maine to enter high-demand, well-paying jobs. KVCC's cutting-edge technology and state-of-the-art facilities ensure that our graduates are some of the most sought after in Maine. With our already low tuition and the free community college program for recent graduates, KVCC students join the workforce with little to no student loan debt. For more information, please visit us online at kvcc.me.edu or call 453-5822. North Country Car Wash and Laundromat is conveniently located at 10 Skowhegan Road in Fairfield. Our touchless automatic car wash is now available. We use the latest technology to provide a thorough and efficient cleaning of your vehicle. Discount packages now available. 
Come visit us today and give your car the love it deserves. We're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you own a local main business, this message is for you. Scan the QR code now for your chance to win $1,000 in free advertising from Epic View Studios, the leader in local live streaming. Just scan the code with your camera app on your smartphone and fill in the information. Good luck and thanks for watching from Epic View Studios. Any commercial use, rebroadcast, retransmission, or distribution of the following presentation, without the express written consent of Epic View Studios, is strictly prohibited. Looking for a new job or seasonal work? Putamaki in Waterville is now hiring, starting at $21.87 per hour. Join Hudamaki, a company that prides itself in food safety and convenience. Start your career with our newly enhanced benefits package. Hudamaki is a company that cares about its people and sustainability. Hudamaki Incorporated are the makers of Chinet. Bring your family to ours and join the Hudamaki team. For more information, visit hudamaki.com or scan the QR code below. Dow's Quick Stop, 74 Western Avenue in Fairfield. Your one-stop shop for gas, food, beverages, and lottery tickets. Scan the QR code now for your chance to win a $20 gift card at Dow's. Hammond Lumber Company has been a trusted partner of professional contractors, do-it-yourselfers, and homeowners for generations. It's the level of trust that Hammond Lumber has earned by providing an extensive selection of products and materials from industry-leading suppliers with guidance and support through every stage of any project, including delivery of materials throughout Maine and New Hampshire. Hammond Lumber Company is, has been, and will always be your building project partner. Naturopathic medicine is a well-established system of medicine that works to achieve optimal health by striving to identify underlying causes of illness to help the body heal itself. A whole body approach is taken to diagnose, prevent and treat both acute and chronic conditions. A naturopathic doctor is a licensed specialist who works with patients to remove obstacles to their health, stimulate self-healing, strengthen weakened systems, use natural substances to restore, and prescribe pharmaceuticals as needed. Modalities used as treatment include therapeutic nutrition, stress management and education, vitamin and mineral supplementation, botanical medicine, and other dietary supplements. Each plan is individual as the doctor and patient work together to create their treatment plans. Conditions commonly treated include allergies, digestive issues, fatigue, chronic pain, sleep complaints, thyroid conditions, and hypertension. Contact Dr. Anna Froman in Benton and now in Brunswick, Maine to make your next appointment, 